Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here again to work on our uh, crazy ledger -y journal. Um, we worked on this little pocket, and I never got to get any further on that, so I thought I would come do that. And then I also have some pieces of ephemera that I'll show you as soon as I finish this. This shouldn't take me long, because I'm just kind of adding this beautiful paper from um, Rachel at Roxy Creations. It's Florentine Christmas paper that I ordered from her. And it's fabulous. I've talked about it before. Lots. Because I just love it. So I'm just kind of taking, you know, a piece. I wanted to be able to use these poinsettias, so I didn't want to, like, tear them in half or something. So we'll add some other things to it. And I'm going to just kind of go along the edge of this so that it's torn as well. Hopefully without ripping it. Well, I am ripping it, but you know what I'm talking about. And then we're going to take just a teeny tiny off of this. I love this one because I don't know if you can see, but see there's Santa in his sleigh. Too bad the reindeers aren't there, but that's okay. <laughs> He's missing his reindeer. And then just a little bit below here is where it looks good. And I'll use that little piece too somewhere. That'll just go there. And I thought it kind of was pretty with this um, Project Life card. That's what these things are called. I don't know what it is. I never got into the Project Life cards. Um, they're just little journaling cards that you could keep in, like, planners and things like that is how I understand it. I just never really got into that whole thing. But I do really like the cards, some of them um, more than others. Oops, that was upside down. But anyway, so that one's pretty. So I don't think we really need to do anything to that. I don't know why uh, that is so hard for me to remember. I guess because, like I said, I just never really got into it. And so, you know, brain. That's all I can say about that. Not something with some writing. So I'm looking in my bag of junk. And um, Denise at One of Our Crafts gave me this awesome book. Um, and it's got the really old pages in it. And so I love stuff like that. So I can't decide. I think I might do this just because I want to see some of the script more than not, you know. So I think I just want a little bit of it. I don't want all of it. And then we can use something else too. But I used it to back all kinds of, oh, I'm working on, um, let me grab it. Last night I started this. It's these little tiny boxes that I got at, um, I think it was Ross, last Christmas for gift cards, you know, to put a gift card in. Well, I'm making an itty bitty little hinge journal to go in that. So that's what I was working on last night. It's not done. There's pieces and parts. But anyway. That's what's going in there. And so I backed a lot of these pages in that book page. And I'll be putting a pocket here so you won't see this. But that's that really nice brown book page. Thank you, Denise. Awesome. Awesome book. Wonderful color. It's kind of toasty here today. I mean, it feels toasty. It's all of like 42 degrees. But um, just the sun being out and everything, it's like, wow, it's hot today. <laughs> Isn't that funny? And the first time it gets down into the 40s, you're like, oh, it's freezing. But we were talking about that today at my, where I work. We were out doing uh, yard, you know, yard duty with the kids and recess duty, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we were talking about how suddenly that feels warm after last week because we were like in the low teens pretty much all last week. So, um, this felt like, you know, almost hot. Just because you get used to that. It's weird how fast you adjust to that. And so I'm going to just take, this is just scrapbook paper that has red uh, music on it. So I'm just going to put that there. And that's really all I'm going to do to that. I think we did enough on the front side of it. I don't think we need to go totally crazy on this side. Just trying to get where you guys can see stuff here. So yes, I have a mess because I'm doing a project, uh, actually more than one project. And uh, 
I do clean up like after I finish a journal, I'll clean up from that journal. But the problem right now is I'm kind of been doing one Christmas journal after another, you know, with the minis and all. And um, I just can't really get it all cleaned up <laughs> because it just comes out again. So it seems silly to put everything away. But then it the mess gets crazy faster, it seems like. I'm just not good at that. I It's like I want everything out so I can use it and get to it. And so it just ends up on the floor and piled on both sides of me. And yeah, because otherwise you forget to use stuff and you forget you have stuff. And I don't know. It just takes a lot of stuff. So I'm just gluing on this glue book over here. Oh, I didn't even want to put this one down first and I put the glue on it first until I'm excited to use that one. I love old book page that's all yellowed like that or whatever you'd want to call it. Colored. Turn it just a little so it doesn't look so straight. Perfect. Okay, there's that, and I think that's good for that because that's just the inside. Uh, we could put a little something up there. Oh, I could tear that little. Cut off that has part of a frame from something else. And we could put a little something else under that. Like get new. It's got little birds on it. I kind of feel like it needs to be red. Whatever it is. use something from, hold on, let's see, oh, on the front of this, I added that little uh, Santa Claus stamp, I just kind of tucked it under there and I stamped that, you know, those lines, can't ever leave it alone, you know, you just got to keep fiddling around with it, I don't know why I keep trying to stick my hand in here, it won't fit. I kind of like that poinsettia. Hmm. Ah. Here I said, oh, this won't take long. <laughs> I like, everything takes long. Because <laughs> it just seems like this is all just a process. And since you're never going to really know exactly what you're going to do, just off the top of your head, it's always a process. That's from Graphic 45, but I inked it with black. I don't know why I did that. It's obviously making something. Sorry, I know you probably can't even see all this stuff, but it's just all the junk that I'm going through to see if I can find something going that direction that would work. The shortbread. He's just little. He's too big. He's little, but he's not little enough. Tickets. There's that little guy. <laughs> he's so cute. He's too big too. Everything's going the other way, it seems. It's like a little tiny postcard or something from Tim Holtz. Hmm. Don't know, I don't know. I need to do one of those books with the to put ephemera in. Such a dingling. 
I just don't have time. <laughs> I need about three of me right now is kind of what I'm discovering. That's kind of cool, but I don't like those things. Um, yeah, I'm just having trouble getting enough done. It's just a piece of a guest check. Might play with those. Let's see. Get this stuff back in here at least. little Santa stickers. Oh, this would probably work. This is out of that book that had all the ephemera, uh, the Christmas ephemera that I got from Amazon. And it's just all little tiny images of like Santas and things that would look kind of cool. It almost looks like wrapping paper. I think I'm just going to take like a strip of that. And I know I'm probably going to cut parts off and whatever, but there's really no way because they're up and down and stuff. Come like that. I'll probably try to get most of this one. I'm going to tear across the bottom because I don't want it to be just flat. just a little bit tall. I really like this guy here though so I don't really want to tear him. This leaf. Is that better? Yeah that is better. And I could just put, could I put underneath? something else under there. Hmm. That's tricky with that eyelet right there. It's bugging me. Those are too big. Now I have littler ones. like this little special delivery, but it's even too big. <laughs> How tiny that is. Now oh, I know there was a tiny little ticket. These are so cute, Denise. These are the ones that um, Denise from one of our crafts sent me. Happy mail. These little tickets will work. Somewhere I saw a little package. Oh, somebody mentioned yesterday that it would be... Um, neat if I did, oh fingers cool, um, like Christmas ornaments and I have done that in the past um, and so that might be a fun thing that we could do. I have some things in mind so I'll work on that. That probably won't happen until next week. I got another crazy weekend because we're going to uh, Boise State in Boise, Idaho obviously to watch my daughter march with the BSU marching band at the football game and do other things this weekend so <laughs> I won't be able to do a whole lot. 
I'm trying to get some stuff done. Okay, so obviously we're not going to stack all that on top of each other like that, but we'll figure out something here. I'm very excited that she's going to get to play with BSU. They do like, it's sort of like a one day camp thing, which I know sounds insane, but they already gave them the music and so they have to learn the music ahead of time. And then um, she's been marching for four years and so, you know, she gets the concept. So I think that's why they generally choose juniors and seniors to do it. And they have to be picked by their band director. Um, so there's like 12 kids from each school and I'm not sure how many schools are going to be there but um, yeah she's super excited just kind of want a little bit of this down here that's not going to work just needs a little something else. Um, try to cut these apart. They're so tiny. So yeah, that's going to be super fun. If we don't freeze. <laughs> Which we will a little, but a little's fine. I just hope it's not like a big wimp because I have arthritis in my hips and my arms and uh, so I'll, I'll uh, be sore the next day for sure but it's worth it to see her do that if it's not too cold though it won't be bad I should have to dress warm kind of better when Boise State wasn't um, as good at football, which sounds horrible, <laughs> but um, they played in the afternoon, and so that I have to put my glasses on to see if this is going the right way. Um, so that was kind of nice, because, you know, you could just do the whole afternoon game thing, and that was fun. But now they play pretty late, so it's not great. Oh my gosh, what did I do with those? Oh, they're there. Um, it was a little bit better when it was a little earlier in the day, but, you know, it is what it is. So 25. And these, again, are all little Tim Holtz things. I'm sure you guys know that, but just in case, I just don't want to make people feel like they don't know what I'm using here. There's a little tiny hole in the top of this that I just noticed. Okay, I want one more little thing over here. Famous last words. This will just take a minute. <laughs> Sorry. But I guess, you know, if you're working on your own stuff anyway, it's not like you're that worried about what in the world I'm doing. It's just nice to hang out and craft. So there we go. That's that. I'm going to put a little ink down here. Especially where it looks like it, you know, could be touched or grabbed or whatever. Never inked it at all, which is very odd for me. All right, I think that piece is done. Yeah, like that. Okay, so I stuck a few things. Where did I put it? Oh, right here. I made this book page out of that. Um, book that Denise sent and close this and so it was 
two book pages glued together, the full length, which was about like to there. And then I just did the little fold like, you know, we always do, and I backed it with the plain book page. And then I just cut it off, or tore it off actually, you can see. And I, I like how it's all torn, but if you don't like that look, you could easily, you know, trim it up and make it look all nice. I thought it would go pretty good on this other page that's a full page. Those are the only ones that really work with the, um, you know, like a bigger pocket, because most of these are too small to do that with. So, we're going to decorate this up and put it on there. And then somewhere else in there, there's another little piece of something that I'm going to use, but I want right there. my letters to Santa and they're all in this pile of stuff I really like this little girl but I don't think I think it's a little girl it might be a little boy I don't know I could go over on this side though that would probably work if we could get the letter on this part Let's try it. Let's try to get this letter on the flap. If I can tear it right by my tear roller. See, this is the problem when I get um, those messes. That's <laughs> why it's good to clean up because I get my brain gets like the mess. I cannot. Like, I just I don't know. There's no helping me when I get like that. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of do this. And we'll go. I'm going to just scoot it over a little bit so I can see the top of the... I don't really want to tear across the Santa. That's kind of the point. So I think I'll come a little further this way. And I don't want to tear the little girl either because I don't want to use that. It's a very fine line we're walking right here. Okay. So I go like this. that off anymore either. Just thinking it needs to fit just a little bit snugger, I think. I might use the those scissors, hold on. Use deckly scissors because I'm just worried I'm gonna make a mess of it. Which is very possible. Very, very possible. Yeah, I think that's right. Let's trim this up just a little. Okay, I'll ink that a bit. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. No, if I said that already, I get, you know, I get doing my thing and I forget to welcome you guys. Just know I love you. I love all the comments and I love to hear what you guys are working on. So people have some like major projects going, wow. It's impressive.
glue everything to the glue book. See if we can get her or him, this child, <laughs> in here in the pocket. So I think if we just take off a little bit on this side, we'll have to take off that point at the bottom. I probably don't need that much at the top. See what I did. Okay, that needs to not be there. I took off too much here and here now. <laughs> so, but I kind of like it with that paper because that paper is so cool. So, I think what we'll do is just kind of make it look a little bit intentional, you know. <laughs> Like I meant to do that. Even if it's a lie. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think that's fun. I don't know if I want to cover the 16 or not, but I kind of want the little kid to show a little bit more. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. That will work. Um, I like the edge of this anyway because of the color of it. So, This is always the tricky part when there's glue on this and it's going into this pocket like this. Yikes. That was almost a disaster in the making. So yeah, so I'm going to leave this because then you can um, write on there. And then we, maybe we can find a little something to put there. Oh, I forgot something downstairs. I'll be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. I cut out all, you know, like the ephemera pieces from my kit and a bunch of Gail's postcards and then all my, um, the Christmas digi with the old posters for Christmas. And yeah, they were all sitting down there. And another thing I keep me meaning to talk about is my friend Melody Willoughby, has an Etsy shop that she's opened just recently and it's called Willoughby House. So it's all one word and you have to capitalize the W and the H and it's W-I-L-L-O-U-G-H-B-Y House. I know I spelled it, you know, you can obviously see. I'm just, you know, trying to help you out if you're like typing it or something like that. All right, so, and I'm excited because She's got some really pretty fall things, so if you guys are looking for some fall stuff, she's got some lovely things. Um, so this is good this way. I want to add like maybe a little Santa or something, and then I was looking, and I think this card might go perfectly in here. So we might back it so that it's not so stark white, but I do like that in there. And then... Let's see, we've got all the junk again. I think I might want to. 
should need the big bag because I think I need a little bit bigger, kind of want a Santa there maybe, of some sort. That one's super cute, but it's just a little bit. I don't like it covering that, but it's so cute with the kids. Oh, these are cool, these postage stamps. One of those would probably work, but let's see what else we got here. There's just one of those Tim Holtz Santas. Angel. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> He's a twin. They have twins. Alright. I hate to make you guys sit here while I dig through all this stuff. It's just tricky of where to keep it all. Because there's so many pieces. I know. I know there's better solutions. And I know one is those ephemera things. I just, like I said, haven't had time to make one of those yet. After the new year, I will hopefully get a little more organized. I wouldn't hold your breath, but um, try. <laughs> I guess if it covers part of that, it's not like nobody knows what it says, but it's just kind of a bummer. Oh, my junk. I wonder if one of these would be the right size. Oh, jeez, this guy's cute. This little guy right here. He would definitely fit, but he's almost too small. Let me see the fit. Let's see what else there is. This I got on Amazon as well, these stickers. This one would be kind of good. Yeah, he needs to be inked and stuff because he's just way way too shiny. Maybe a little bit of music or something. Alright. Okay, so let's get him inked. Let's see what we can come up with to make it look a little more. Oh, you know what I can do? I can take some of that white off. That would help a lot. It's the only thing I, I didn't realize when I got those that they were going to have so much white around them. And as we all know, that's just not a great look when you're doing all this old vintage -y type stuff. going to work because it's so, <laughs> you can't like turn it the other direction. This is kind of the same problem. No, 
I don't want that. something with him. Sorry, I'm probably driving you crazy. Let's do some of this. Some lace that I have. Something like that. I like better. All right, let me find my wet glue. I don't feel like I, I've got my uh, thinking cap on today or something. I don't know. I'm feeling like kind of out of sorts or something. It's weird. And I'm just putting wet glue on here because I don't want it to go anywhere since it's sitting on that lace. And it's just a sticker. Alright. So I've got Christmas, candy, excitement, love, energy, and imagination. Grace. somewhere I had it's probably right in front of me it's like presents uh, presents right there candy canes that would be another good one let's do maybe we'll do Christmas day I think it'll fit better right there. I can cut it. That's the only thing I don't like about these scissors. Well, there's a few things. One, sometimes they just don't work. And two, they're just really awkward to move around on the paper. I mean, obviously there's like all kinds of teeth on them, but they're just kind of hard to do something with. this again because of the lace. Alrighty. So on the back of this I want something to write on but not um sorry I'm reaching all the way over. This paper would probably work well. This old, I ha actually own this <laughs> um, postcard and it is seeing better days. But it's kind of cool the way it has all the rips and tears in it. I like it. And that's in that digi as well. And you could um, change the size, you know, if you wanted them smaller for something or whatever if you don't want it. this is like full size obviously
I love them when they're like that. I'll beat up, but I know probably everybody doesn't. <laughs> That's just the way it is. It's the way it came to me. I'll beat up. Just want to get rid of this need paper. Uh, it's going to peel right off the back because I didn't let it dry all the way. So not to self, let it dry all the way. Be smarter than me. I'll just wait a second and I'll use those. I think I should use scissors, scissors. torn but it's hard with all the divots and things. Oh, I, just <laughs> I need to just stop. Just stop. Kind of looks like mice have been eating it <laughs> right here. I'll probably go ahead and stitch around this just to, you know, give it a little something extra. Let's see if we can add a little cement or something on the back. Let's use that book again. Oh, this is cute with the take one. I like this too, though. It's funny, they did that, and then they did the bows all. The giant white border. stopped it that's right I don't know how long I've been doing this about 45 minutes it's pretty amazing huh 45 minutes and that's all I get <laughs> scary really uh, yeah and then I'll just kind of stitch around it and I thought maybe a point set uh, might be cute
Ashley sent me these. Ah, of course the one I didn't want to take off came flying off. Put some glue on that just to make sure. Thanks for these, Denise. They're cute. Super cute. Just give it a little something. And we can put it in here. And I think I will... Mm, yeah, I think I'm just going to glue it down all the way. I don't think it needs it another pocket but of course if you make one you can do it however you want to do it you might want loads I just don't think this is going to be able to be super thick because it's um, a manila folder journal and it's already getting kind of alligator mouth I think I'm going to take this out for a minute Remove this so we can see where our lines are. Get it fairly close this way so that it's not bugging the um, opening and closing of that. Sorry, one of my hairs almost went with it. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want one of those. go right in there. I think that's fun. And then we have, there's also um, one from Gail Augustinelli and this is one of her postcards and so is this one here. I talked about that before but just in case you didn't know. And then just the little collage we did. So yeah, I like that. And then we did that one. And the other thing that I was going to do but I don't think we're going to have time today is I made this little, it's kind of like the idea of Gail Augustinelli's um, envelope that she does and wraps around the page but I want to I wanted something smaller because this isn't a very big journal you know the pages themselves it's big it just <laughs> doesn't have you know a lot of space this way so um, I just took a piece of paper and I folded it I'm trying to figure out now because I did this this weekend oh I glued it down so I just folded it like in half to here, well not in half, but in a, you know, that portion of it, and then folded it again, and then just, whoa, what did I do? Nope, I folded this up, and this like this, and that like that, and folded it like this. But if I decorate this, <laughs> I will come back and, um, you know, tell you what size the piece of paper is, and I'll, I'll have one that isn't glued so that I can really show you um, how the folds are but it just is making like a pocket here and a pocket here and it'll go around the page just like that envelope that Gail Augustinelli has shown where you can put a little tag here and a little tag there and if you wanted you could even have a tag back there by gluing just these edges and have a bigger you know uh, pocket there too so you could do three pockets per side with that to put some little tags in like make a little loaded tag thing but I will um, when I come back to decorate this one I'll go over how to fold it and all that so we'll do that for the next video but at least we got a couple things done got the back of this envelope done and then that pocket and card so fun all right, I will talk to you guys later. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe and chat later. Bye-bye now.